Hey everybody, Dave Anderson here from the Fisherman Magazine, and if you've been following the New England fishing forecast every week, then you know that Captain Mike Roy with Real Cash Charters has been crushing it over the last few weeks in the Connecticut River, and if you look back over time, you'll see that he's been crushing it for several years. He relies heavily on soft plastics to get his work done and uh, put his charters on all these awesome fish, so I gave him a call and asked him to shed a little light on how he gets it done. Take it away, Mike. Hey guys, I want to give you some tips for early season striped bass fishing. Um, spring fishing can be challenging because the fish are still lethargic and they can be real hesitant to bite. So the real go-to lure this time of year is going to be some variation of a soft plastic. So right here I have a five and three quarter inch finesse fish rigged on a half ounce shake head. Uh, this is going to be really a must have essential for spring fishing. Now jig head size may vary from three eighths ounce to a one ounce. Uh, rigging is important. I'm not going to go into detail, but I do have a video on my YouTube channel on how to properly rig these baits. But this is going to be a swing bite. What I mean by that is I'm fishing this cross current. The reason why we have it on a jig head is so it will work the bottom third of the water column close to the bottom where those fish are holding, not dragging the bottom, but working close to the bottom and swinging it in the current. That's when you're going to get your bites on these jig heads. Now, when fish are a bit more aggressive, you're going to find fish that are chasing herring and owl wives, or if they push up on the flats in shallow water, I really like fishing an unweighted soft plastic. Uh, what I have here is a Lunker City. This is a nine inch sluggo. If they're on larger bait and I'm targeting larger fish, a seven inch sluggo. Uh, really effective because they're unweighted. So this is fished on a 6.0 or 8.0 swim bait hook. And what makes me so effective is they have a very slow sink, almost a neutral buoyancy. So what I'm going to uh, do when I'm working this is it's going to be like a walk the dog action where I'm getting this to work real erratically side to side and I'm going to stop it and pause it and just let it sit there and slow sink and that's when I'm going to get a lot of bites from those early season stripers. Now we're talking about tackle. So regardless of how much your setup costs or what brand it is, it's important to match the tackle to the size lure you're fishing so in the spring with finicky fish we're often throwing smaller soft plastic like this five and three quarter inch finesse fish and uh i have to match it appropriately to a lighter what i call a finesse setup so i'm using a 15 pound power pro braided line if i use a real thick line with light baits it's going to create too much drag in the water and the bait's not going to work naturally um i have a um more of a light but fast action rod for working this. This particular rod is a G Loomis a GCX, but uh, also important is the size reel. Typically a three or 4,000 series reel. This one happens to be Shimano Stratic, but I can't use a real bulky, heavy rod or real heavy line to work these baits properly. Uh, last thing I should mention is my leader, uh, 30 pound fluorocarbon leader for early spring fishing.